Good day, great teams. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. Today with me, I've got an extract from a previous question paper on Euclidean geometry. So let's lay this question together. So the question goes as follows. In the diagram below, AC and BD are straight lines. And they tell us that AO is equal to OC and line AB is parallel to DC. So the question goes as follows, prove by congruency that AB is equals to DC. So our duty for the given question, guys, is to show that this line here, AB and DC, are equal in length. But we have to do so using congruency. And for this to be possible, it means that AB triangle ABO Triangle ABO should be congruent to triangle ODC. If we can prove that these two triangles are congruent, then automatically AB and DC would be equal in length. So if we analyze the two triangles, we can already see that we are given that AO and OC are equal in length. That's given. So we can just note that down. We can say AO is equals to OC and the reason is given. And then if you analyze further, we can see that we have intersecting lines. These two lines intersect. So this would mean that we have vertically opposite angles these two become vertically opposite angles and one thing to know about vertically opposite angles is that vertically opposite angles are equal so we can say AOB is equals to DOC DOC and the reason is vertically opposite angles so looking again at the two diagrams you will notice that this these two lines are parallel and we can actually we can actually form a z shape and we know the angles that exist in a z shape between parallel lines form alternate angles and we know alternate angles are equal. So we can say that ABD, angle ABD is equals to angle BDC, BDC. And the reason is alternate angles. And this is because AB is parallel, parallel to DC. So guys, it's all a matter of looking for your shapes with the vertically opposite angles. We saw our intersecting lines that form an X shape. So these two are equal. And with the vertically opposite, I mean the alternate angles, you saw your Z shape between parallel lines. So we know alternate angles are equal. So it's just a matter of looking for the different letters um, in the diagram. So now we can say, therefore, triangle A, triangle A, B, O is congruent to triangle O, D, C. And this is by virtue of angle, angle, side, Corresponding angle, corresponding angles, and corresponding sides are equal. So if those two triangles are congruent, it implies that AB is equals to is equals to DC. So guys, in the second part of the question, they, they say explain why quadrilateral. We need to explain why this quadrilateral 
ABCD is a parallelogram. Now there's another there's a number of ways um, of showing a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Um, to mention a few, if you have pairs of opposite sides. But before before we jump into this, let's just highlight this quadrilateral quickly. So this is the quadrilateral. We need to explain why this is a parallelogram. So there's a number of ways um, to do this. Um, one way is to show that their interior opposite angles are equal in size. Another is to, to show that the diagonals bisect at the point O. Um, and then this one is to show also another way is to show that one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So you see this here and this here is parallel and equal in length. That's enough uh, information to uh, definitely say a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if one pair of opposite sides is equal in length and parallel. So we've just shown that um, we've just shown that these two sides are equal in length and we were given that they are parallel. So that's the explanation. So we can just say. 6.1.2 we can say that a b c d is a parallelogram parallelogram because one pair of of opposite of opposite sides is parallel and equal in links. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.